Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minute Huff, and welcome to a Seed Spotlight video. So, in this video and in other videos in this type of series, I'm going to be showing off a certain seed, whether it be anything, anything from whatever the world wants to generate and showing off some of the cool features and showing off why you would want to use this seed for your world generation, for your let's play, whatever, whatever you want to use this seed for, this is why you should use it. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of the highlights of this world and I've got them marked out so we've got one there, got one there, that one's pretty obvious so I'm just going to be showing you guys around the seed and just the stuff near the spawn, I mean I spawned right about here, I want to know if you see the coordinates, here's my, my spawn coordinates are up on the screen. But I will be showing you guys the seed on the screen up here, up here, and then down here we will have coordinates on the bottom left of, you know, where I am on the map or where certain highlights of the map are. So, with that, the seed is called Dossier, capital D, and it is D-O-S-S-I-E-R. I will have all the stuff in the description, so if you want to copy and paste that, you can. So, you should spawn about right here, and yeah, it's just right there, and then it's pretty cool i mean this is kind of cool but it's going to be difficult for you noob guys at minecraft there are no trees at least around the spawn not near the spawn there are no trees so you're going to have a lot of trouble with that but besides that it's pretty sweet so right over here i've called this the under sand i have no idea why i called it this but whatever this obviously these diamond blocks are not going to be here you uh, just no no but it's pretty cool it's just like you've got this pretty underground area where the sand has fallen through and then if you go down here You've got this cave, and it's nothing special. This is just just a little something I thought I'd show you, but it looks really cool from down here, at least. Looking at the top part, it looks really nice. It's a pretty decent-sized cave. I've never explored it, but there's lots of iron and stuff down here. That's that. Nothing major. It's kind of meh, but I thought I'd show you anyway because that's kind of the whole point. Like, if I didn't show you everything, then what would be the point of the seed? I'm not going to show you everything. Look, here's a block of sand. Ugh. All right, moving on. We've got something pretty cool over here. Not that one yet. Not that one yet. I believe it's over in this general direction. Yep, it should be right over here. So the spawn is right there. And then you head over this way. And I've called this the Survival Island. It's pretty much a survival island. Just check this out. Look at this. You've got a tree, like one or two trees, sand, a little underground cave, water surrounding it. If you exclude this area here, Look at this. This is like its perfect survival island, if you think about it. And, oh, well, you've got over here, too. But there's nothing really to note over here. It's just a little bit of an island area, so there's nothing huge, you know? There's nothing that you can just salvage stuff from. you got sand and a little bit of dirt over there. There's nothing big. But this is awesome. It's like its own little survival island, and it even, like, it's like an island. Even down here underwater, it's still an island. It's pretty sweet. So if you want to do your own little survival island thing, you know, try it yourself, then go ahead and get the seed and come over to this spot. I'll have the coordinates on screen, guys, so you don't have to worry about it. And in the description for copy and paste, nice little underground thing here. Break it. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone loves doing that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Nice little big pool here. It's actually pretty, pretty deep if you look at it. Got another one here. There's, I believe, a cave down there, or there's light. I actually came over here, and I couldn't find where that light was coming from. But, yeah, nothing to note over there. Have you come over here? Ah, yes. This is nothing, like, major. I just thought I would show you. This is a pretty massive cave system. If you dig straight down from here, you find this cave system. I know you're like, oh, caves, great. Thanks for showing me this. Not like I've seen enough caves, but this is a big cave system. So don't, you know, don't come down here unless you're ready because you will pretty much get lost down here. Not this way. Okay, whatever. That way sucks. But I haven't found the end of it, and it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty big. So, well, that's good. It's, it's it's cool. What was that? Ooh, it is. But yeah, don't get lost down here, guys. Good luck. It's a nice, nice jolly old cave system. How are we gonna get out? Ah, oh, trapped in here. I trapped myself. Ah, here we go. So yeah, I actually went this way before, and I couldn't find my way out. So good luck down there. Have lots of fun. It's actually just right over. The spawn is there, right there by the wheat. So you come over here, and it's at this very edge. If you want to dig anywhere on this island, you'll find it. Then. This is one of the easiest things you'll spot when you first spawn, is a village. And the coordinates are on screen, guys, so come on over here, check out this village. Nothing too fancy about it. There's no, what do you call it, the furnace thing. Well, you're not going to find a chest in this village. There's no goodies in this village. It sucks. I've, I've looked. You don't find anything, so if you come in here, you don't see anything. Most of the villagers here died. I was exploring the seed, and it got nighttime, and they 
yeah, they died, but some of them are here, so this guy's alive. You can trade with them. I'm not sure if this varies on world to world, depending on what they want to trade with, but there you go. And they've got nice bookcases in here. Ooh, it's beautiful. So then you can take their wheat, take their stuff. They're not going to mind. Are you? Yeah, you don't even care. You don't even care. So that is that. And the best part of the seed. This is the reason why you want to get this world. Ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, that was really weird. Let's just go check out the best part, the highlight. It's right here. Look at this. Do you see this? Floating torches. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was not even possible. That was like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But that is, that's weird. So, this is it. This is why you want the seed right there. Yep, 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 yep. You, you're, you're thinking, what is that? I don't know this. Ah, oh, now you see it. Now you see it. It's an end portal, baby. Right next to the spawn. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, you little devils. This is it. An end portal. Right? Right here. Right in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea how this happened because there's nothing around it. At least, I haven't found anything. So, yeah, it's pretty much... Is that a cave? No. Nah. Nah. No cave. It's just an end portal in the middle of nowhere. Pretty sweet. So, you can come over here, take all these blocks, and you have easy access to the end dimension. And... I think that's gonna be it for this seed. There's nothing really special to note. If you go over this way, I believe really far, really, really far, then you will find some trees. This is just a big ocean though, so be careful. It's a probably, so if you're looking this way, it's probably about this area. You'll find a pretty big extreme hills biome. At least I found it. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm pretty sure it is. So you just head straight into this direction. You find another desert. So when you're first starting off, you're probably going to need to head over to that survival island and get those trees because you are going to have a lot of trouble surviving in this kind of an area. So over here, we've got one of these little temple things. This is pretty far from the spawn. I'm just showing you because I believe there is one of those extreme hills biomes over here. And then over here, I believe there's some pretty like hilly, sandy, deserty area. And it should be over here. I'm not gonna go that far because I think it's actually pretty far. Oh no, wait, I found it. Here it is. Here it is. It's right here. This is the extreme hills biome. So if you're wanting to make a house in this world, I would recommend right over here. So it just, it looks very nice. There's actual trees here. So this is an awesome extreme hills biome. So just look at this. It's pretty awesome. I would make my house here if I were you. And guys, that is gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be great if you could press that like button, smack it in the face because it means a lot if you like my video because I like it when you like it. Oh yeah. And then over here we got this stuff. So if you have a seed you want me to review, then I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would leave it in the description because I want to do this from you guys. I want the seeds to be from you guys as long as they're good and you think they are notably good enough to do this. Is that a word? Whatever. I made it up, I made it up on the spot. So if you think that you have what it takes to find the best seed ever, then by all means do it. So this is just like the starter video, it's like the starter. So I want you guys to submit your seeds to me. Submit your seeds. And then I might do a video on it. If it's good enough, I will check it out and I will do a video on it. So with that guys, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys. Check